today we are in Veru and we're all standing on the Freedom Square. Interesting place. Let's try and see this one together, Ellie. Right, that's a boring one. <laughs> da, sa, da, sa. Yo, ke lat ka ya vat. Ule, be, be, il mama. Ka ya vat, au I come for little but No, I can't do this one. I am. You're not impressed with the tree, are you? Christina. Christina thinks size matters when it comes to trees, but she's with me, so I beg to differ. There's a lot of yellow churches around here, isn't it, Christina? They love it. They call me Mellow Yellow. Quite right there. You can't really see the snowflakes. So we're walking through Varu and we're having some. Uh, we're actually having a bit of Narva Tartu uh, vibes and Tallinn all mixed into one. There's some lovely yellow buildings everywhere, some nice smaller ones. It definitely doesn't feel like a city, even though it's called a city. It um, has a lovely cafe, we had a lovely latte and some cake. And we're now walking down towards the lake. Now, Varu. Oh, yeah, so cake and lake. Varu is famous for a few things. It's famous for uh, the author of Gallery Boy, the, uh, the book or the, the folk tale. It's also famous for the odd Grandmaster chess player being born here. It's famous for having its own dialect of Estonians. Reinhold Kreutzmann is the Estonian author for the book Calibri Boy. Interesting. Interesting. And here is the lake. What's this lake called, Christina? We don't know. So this comes out to this lake here. And uh, it's a gorgeous looking lake, frozen of course, though I don't think entirely frozen. It has warmed up slightly and it wouldn't be worth risking walking on it. But Christina's going to walk onto the pier now. There you go, there's a train going across. So about a kilometre away from us right now, there is a freight train. Fantastic. And it makes this beautiful horn noise, which you can sometimes hear as it passes a crossing. Uh, we're going to stay at a hotel and spa here as well. So it's going to be nice and warm, I think, because it's a sauna there. So yeah, we it's just... Running up and down, so... uh, Christina will find a workout anywhere. So there's this gorgeous bridge that takes you across to whatever's over there. Seems a little bit excessive, but obviously it's required. There's also a small bridge here that we're walking across and you'll also notice there's this yellow frame. These yellow frames are very popular in Estonia again, all to do with the tourism drive. And I think the idea is you're supposed to stand in the frame to get a shot. Christina, stand in the frame. And I shall... Oh, that is a bit high. Well, there we are. We've got a lovely shot here, so you can get a nice angle look. It moves. I don't think it's supposed to move. Oh, it's moving. Do you think it is? Well, there we go. It's quite big. Yes, you should, but don't worry too much. Fantastic. So that is uh, Lake Damula, Damula Yarf. It's pretty. So we've just had a beautiful night in the spa, sauna. Salt sauna, steam sauna, pools of different temperatures, and outside it's this gorgeous snow. Come look, Christine, in the light. Come look at the light up there. So. Very thick. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Look, Christine's going to try and catch a snowflake. I do, funny. 
There we are, Christine. Look at those. <gasps> look. Look at those. Me? Look at those wishy washy, blobs. lefty, commie, socialistic s snowflakes. <gasps> look how easily offended they are. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the irony is? If you get angry about snowflakes, is that that like isn't that a snowflake in itself? And you have some woods. No, some lights. The bad guy. The little guppy, yeah. Are you randomly filming? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to sing. I started yeah. singing. And I'll show you what we're filming now. So this is um, a lit up skiing track. This is what people come to do in Voru. And I think it makes a lot of sense. You come to Voru, you ski. Now you might be saying, oh, you're walking on the skiing and you're ruining it. But actually what we're walking on is the footpath. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like, um, there's like a track. The classical style and then the ice style, ice skate style. Yes, look, that's very trail where it's spotted, Christina. Yeah, you'd know, wouldn't you? So there's like a the zigzag style that Christina has demonstrated before. And then there's the normal style or the classical. classical. So yeah, so these are all lit up. So I can imagine you come here, you go skiing. Oh yeah, they are lit up, isn't it? And then yeah, then you go to uh, go to the sauna and the spa to relax because I tell you what, cross country skiing it ain't it is really tiring. And there's a place called Han, yeah, where a lot of skiers go, there's a lot of uh, competitions there. And I used to go there once or twice as well for a competition. And it's really deep. I was like, I'm not going down. It's like that and going up like that. I was like, I ain't doing it. I did it because I was in the middle of competition. But in Durham, there's no hills to practice that really. That was crazy. But yeah, and it's like 12 kilometers from here. The room only costs 59 euros with the spa included. Um, and then the food is only 49. So, you know, it's not too expensive. If you went to the UK and did something similar, you'd be spending a lot more. Mm -hmm. 